Friday. Flynn, Calica. and I'm your DM, Ethan. Welcome to Venture Forth. Previously, you all had begun the prison break uh, with the assistance of Faraday, who knew her way around the prison and knew sort of some of the systems that were in place. You guys entered the prison of Oak and Spire, looking to free Xavier, Zeta, and Timmy. You guys were successful once taking your silver tongue potions in getting into the prison and navigating your way. You found the records room which contained the list of all the prisoners currently in the prison, and you guys discovered where your targets were. You guys went over to subblock A, and as you guys descended deep into the earth with this, this massive prison complex around you, you guys were able to find Timmy. And after a little bit of um, uh, some acting on Timmy's part, uh, you guys were all able to convince the guards that he, in fact, had dream rot and that Zeta was necessary to cure this disease. Um, so, with Zeta having convinced the rest of the guards as well that you guys need to take uh, Timmy out of the prison and and take him to a temple to be healed, you guys made your way up again towards the surface. Though, stopping at level 49 as Shreya had discovered another Aarakocra here in the prison. You guys had convinced the guards that this Aarakocra also had dream rot, and we're able to free him from his cell as he is now alongside the rest of you guys. You guys made your way up the elevator and getting to the final subblock, you guys were greeted by Warden Barrett Hastel and a couple of armed guards. So as you guys step off of the elevator, the warden says, I don't remember ordering an inspection team. But of course not, sir. That's not how inspections work. If we were to inspect your facility with you, no, no that's we were how coming. my inspections work. Oh, I see. So you don't report to Thogan Nightcrest. You just run everything as well as you want by yourself. Exactly. Guards, please place these people in handcuffs. Don't be absurd. I've seen the way you run this place. Your records in shambles. You've let a, a, a disastrous case, a viral case of dream rot, go rampant under your watch. This is how you demonstrate your new leadership by subverting the um, orders of your superiors. Now, young man, trust me when I say that I am getting this prison into a shape that it has not been in years. How am I supposed to trust that? Looking at the, the disaster in front of me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump uh, uh, in. You're risking the life of every single person in here if you let this case of dream rot that's already jumped from one person to another spread even further. And we're all, we all have our faces covered mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. as we come up here. And, and yeah, yeah. Where our faces and ears are They've still covered. covered. Like everything's okay. been covered. Uh, yeah. Make a uh, deception check for me. Just a straight roll. Just roll high. 12. 12. Okay. Guards, as the guards take out manacles do they from appear, behind their backs. Do, do the guards appear nervous at all? I mean, what about the guards that we are with? The guards that you guys are with are still very nervous. And at this point, they have stepped back. Um, and sort of stepped over towards uh, guard post A um, and are sort of like taking themselves away from the situation. The guards that were standing there with the warden that greeted you as you guys rose up seemed steadfast in what they're doing. So it seems like they're Um, coming to put chains on us? Yes, they're currently stepping forward with manacles in hand. Um, can I can I look at um, warden and see if uh, and do an insight check to see if he is um more nervous about what would happen if this came to light than he is about us, mm. than he is about us being here. Make an insight check. 25. 25. Very clearly, he does not seem nervous about anything. You get just in his posture and the way that he's looking at you guys, he feels that he has complete control of the room and that he doesn't fear this getting out. He doesn't fear that you guys are here. Um, 
I'm gonna like elbow Timmy to let out like a big like performance of a lifetime. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, and as you do, um, Timmy like starts to kind of stagger forward and he reaches his hand out and he goes, oh, the clouds, look at the pretty clouds as he starts reaching out right <laughs> towards the warden. The warden looks to his side to one of the guards as the guard takes out his manacles and begins walking towards Timmy. The says, guard is walking towards Timmy. Does he not look nervous about potentially getting this disease? Make an insight check on this guard. Uh, uh, 17. 17. He looks more worried about the warden than about any disease. ex And I snap my fingers and I cast blindness on the what? warden. What? Yes, you do! Oh, constitution what? saving throw. Constitution saving throw for the warden. Uh, that's going to be a 15 on Constitution. He fails. Yeah. He is blinded. And as he, as uh, ashes immediately burst uh, in front of his eyes uh, to, to completely blind him, I say, There! Now you're as blind externally as you are internally. Look at this waste of a man you've appointed as your leader. Chain them up! Um, I'm going to have I'm everyone gonna, roll wait, 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 wait. Oh. We don't report to you, sir! Uh, we what? report to the gods! <laughs> Before... We roll before we roll initiative. What's Alma doing? Um, just real quick. I'm gonna say, oh no, it started! Everybody, cover your eyes, or you'll go blind as well. The dream world will spread. <laughs> Make a deception check. <laughs> oh, nice. that is a um, <laughs> twenty-two. A uh, twenty-two. Okay, a couple of the guards look a little bit more worried. Um, okay, I'm gonna have everyone roll initiative. All right. Oh man. There we go. Oh, jeez. All right. Kellick. <laughs> Four. Uh, Four. Oh, wait, sorry. Uh, it's a, is that a, what? Oh, no, it's a nine. I thought it oh. was a two. Uh, oh, so that oh. is a, a 11. Okay. Uh, Oma. 15. 15. Try it. 18. 18. Okay. Faraday. Not 20 for a total of 22. Nice. Wow. <laughs> That's awesome. God damn. Flynn. I got an 11 as well. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you need my dex mod, but I think it's like, supposed to work. Okay. Kellogg, what's your dex mod? Uh, plus two. Okay. So, Lynn. Okay. Kellogg. Okay. Um, first up, Faraday. What are you doing? You see ashes burst forth from the warden's eyes, um, and you see the guards getting ready to attack. What are you... How many guards appear to be nervous and not attacking? You're because of sure what yet. I said about the deception, we're not sure yet. Okay. It's it's in a split moment. You you can't uh, can't analyze all of them. Um, Faraday, what are you doing? Um, so you look over and you see my nostrils flare. My eyes turn from red to a deep brown. The fur on my knuckles and my feet deep into the same brown. You hear a very deep guttural grumble as they settle into a launching position and enter into rage. Yeah, yeah, yes, okay. you do. Nice. Okay. That's a uh, bonus action, right? Yes, that is bonus action into rage. And uh, which of the guards was moving in towards us? Um, so at this point, three of the guards are moving in towards you guys and um, are just about 10 feet in front of you. So I am going to uh, reckless attack and go after the closest guard, number one. Okay. Is a 25 to hit. Yeah, a 25 for sure hits. Um, roll your damage. Eleven. Eleven points of damage. Awesome. Okay. And then I'm going to bonus attack. Okay, um, which weapon are you using, by the way? I am using the maul. The maul, okay. And that is a 19 to hit. Uh, 19 hits, yeah. Nine of bludgeoning. Okay. Um, you swing this maul, and the first one hits him across the shoulder, and just with the momentum, kind of turns him around, and you swing your maul, and you hit him in the back, and you hear a crunch right as you hit in the back as the, the plate armor digs into its back, and he falls to the ground completely limp. And I'm going to stay at that more sort of front position. Okay. Oh. Taking one of the guards out. Is he dead? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. All right. all right. Dude just collapses. <laughs> okay. 
Next up is the warden. He is going to stand up, and he is going to... He's blind. He is blind. He's going to... Uh, yeah. And I told him he's going to. Ca- he's catching dream rock. <laughs> you have. I don't think he's convinced. <laughs> um, <laughs> he stands up, and you can see um, both of his hands are glowing. This golden energy that's pouring out from both of his hands as he places both of his hands up on his eyes and he is going to use his action to rid himself of any conditions that befall him. So he's using his action to unblind himself. Does this appear to be um, holy magic or some kind of like can I determine the source of this this power? Uh, Yeah, make an arcana check. Uh, 15. Uh, 15. You have heard of some um, paladins being able to use just their sheer force of will and devotion to cast magic as opposed to being tied to any specific deity. Um, That appears to be the case here. That is going to be his action. Yeah, that's going to be all he does um, as he frees himself from the blindness. Next up, Shreya. I am going to leap out of the pocket and I am going to scurry my way (laughs) over to the warden and crawl up the warden crawl up the warden's leg and in some sweeping movements and motions I don't know what kind of check is this but (laughs) I am going to attempt to like use my tiny little like like the little claws I guess on my my fingers to like imitate like a tickling sensation on the warden that might resemble chills. Mm. I, again, nigh impossible, but that's what I'm going for. Even if it fails miserably, the the least effect that I would want to get would be that he is like uncomfortably tickled by me. <laughs> Make a stealth check at disadvantage. Awesome. Uh, so that is a. Where is my stealth? Oh, okay. Uh, 14. Uh, 14. Okay, he's gonna. We'll see if he <laughs> notices you. He looks down and sees and looks directly at you. He makes oh, eye contact. Shit. Oh. Okay. <laughs> this is bad. This is not bad. All right. Is um, that. Yeah, well, I mean. It, am I able to actually get onto him? I'm still going to try to complete the action. You are on his leg. Oh, yes. I'm still on his leg. Okay. It, just the just, deception of the tingling, of the tingling has, has not worked. Has, yes. That has not worked. Okay. Um, then in that case, uh, I'm going to use the rest of my action to crawl down to his foot and bite his toe. Or was that the action? Can I not bite? No, I'll give you a bite. Ah. Give me a bite. <laughs> I'll give you a bite. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, roll your attack. All right. Uh, yep, nothing to hit. So that is a 13. A 13 does not hit. So no, I missed you, the... <laughs> you dig your teeth in, but they just, they they don't make it past the skin. Your teeth just don't dig in far enough to, to actually make any damage. <laughs> Frustratedly. <laughs> okay. Um, is that the end of your turn? Yeah, that's my turn. Okay. Um, next up. Let's see. One of these guards... Okay, um, the guard heard you, Oma, <laughs> and looks back to the warden who is now just in a full-on frenzy, and it seems that their fear of the warden has, for at least the time being, overtaken the fear of, of what you have said. Um, so this guard is going to um, walk up towards Kellick. He's right there. Um, And that is going to be a spear attack against Kellick. So, let's see. Kellick, does a 16 hit? Just hits. Just hits. Okay, that's going to be... That is going to be three points of piercing damage. Didn't roll very high on that. Thank you. The gods. Okay, next up, um, Oma. Um, I'm gonna see that the warden has uh, 
like used magic to unblind himself. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to recall when I tried to wrap the thread around Shreya's neck, it was affecting his magic. So I am going to take a running slide towards the ankles of the warden and wrap the no magic <laughs> string <laughs> around his ankle. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to have you make a sleight of hand check for me. Oh boy. Oof. One of us has got to be. 18. Damn. Okay, you run up, you slide <laughs> down, and you're just able to wrap this thing around Whoa! his ankle. Oh! Is that my action? That would be your action, yeah. Um, and, yeah, that would be your action. Um, so I, how many more feet do I, um, and then I'm going to take... That was 15 feet of movement. I'm gonna go 15 more in the opposite, uh, behind him. Behind him? Yeah, 15 okay. more in the same direction, yeah. Um, both him and, well... Yeah, so I no matter so I'm running and slide. No matter where you go, you are leaving the, oh, the combat area. Okay, okay. So you would get an attack of opportunity from both the warden oh, and one okay. of the guards. Um, then you know. I will just stay at his ankles, I guess. Okay. <laughs> all right. Um, all right. Come on, you don't want to high five me? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> high five the little rat that's by his ankle. <laughs> Next up. Um, oh, no, that guard's dead. <laughs> Flynn. Um, uh, looking around uh, again, where, what do I, like, what's behind me? Um, and then, or so, like, what's behind me? And then what's. Right behind you is the elevator shaft. So, oh, we just, I came out just of. Uh, okay. hold deep into the earth. Um, and do I see uh, cell block D or whatever uh, it was? Do I see how far away it is? Yes. So, it is across the room from you. Uh-huh. Um, so, you're going to have to go around the stairs oh, that are okay. in the middle of the room to get to it. Do I remember them saying that the key that we have works all these elevators in this area? It only works for subblock A. You would have to get a separate key for for that subblock. I know where to get that. Um, Is it like a building here? Yeah, so you know you got the key for subblock A in the guard post that was next to it. I will go there. Okay. I'm just going to book it that way. But not to the A one, to the D one. Whichever one I need to... Where, yeah, where would yeah, I get okay. D? You, you would need to go pretty much across okay. the room. I'm going to go. Um, how much movement do you have? Uh, 25 as a little... But I'll uh, dash. Okay, oh, you would 50. just be able to get to the entrance. Oh, okay. Uh, is that with dash? That is with dash. Okay. Um, do, I, do I see a way in? Like There's an I... open door right in front of you, okay. yeah. Um. Yeah, I mean, I, I. That's my action and my. But um. Uh. I don't want to. Uh, I might uh yell out. What are we doing? Are we? Are we going? All right. And that's my turn. I don't know what else to do. I don't want to hurt anyone. Kellick. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. Got a guy right in front of me. I'm unarmed. Uh, having been stabbed with a spear. God damn you, damn this whole bloody place. Debility. I'm gonna bane uh, the guy in front of me, the guy uh, in front of Faraday, and the warden. Okay. So uh, that's uh, charisma saving throws. Charisma saving throws. Okay, so for the first guard, that's a natural 20. Sick. Good for him. <laughs> that is a 12 for the second one. Fails. Okay, and for the warden? It's a 22. No doubt. Jeez. Okay, so one of them is banned. Okay. Uh, and then I'm just, I'm just going to stare menacingly at this guy in front of me. Okay, you I like it. believe it. Menacing stare. Menacing stare. I cast... A menacing stare. Mm. Uh, in his direction. A, you've already cast a spell, so. You oh, right, you can't. <laughs> I was going to say, well, is menacing stare. You can prepare, a, uh, said menacing <laughs> stare. It's a cantrip. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, next up, a bunch of the guards are going. Cool, okay, cool, cool. so um, let's see. So uh, one of these guards is going to uh, is gonna run up to Faraday mm-hmm. and is going to make a spear attack, a 13 to hit. Misses. Misses. Okay. That's one. 
Next one. Another guard um, is going to run up to Faraday. The one that's baned, actually, is going to run up to Faraday. Another attack. Uh, does a 16 hit. Yes. Did you add bane to that? Yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> right. Oh. <laughs> Always. Uh, so that's going to be an 11. Yeah. Yes, an 11. Does an 11 hit? No. Okay. Courtesy of Zachary. Um, nice. Disadvantage to hit her. Yeah, you have advantage to oh, hit me, though. okay. Then I will take that advantage. Ooh, oh, that's yeah. okay. That's still baned, though. Significant. Yeah, it's still, yeah. It's, yeah. yeah that's going to be a 19 to hit. That hits. Okay. Damn. That spear is going to be seven points of piercing damage. And because I'm raging, that is only half, so that is three. Three Very points. Good. Nice. Okay. Um, and then let's see. Uh, another one of these guards is going to... Actually, the, the two remaining guards here are um, frozen. They're just gonna They're just going to wait as they are heeding uh, what Olma said. They're, you can see that they're kind of <laughs> nice. weighing in their heads nice. um, exactly what's going on. Um, and uh, the two guards who came up with you guys as well are also going to hold, see what happens. Yeah, so that's four combatants taken out. Um, Faraday. Pastor, you always were a fool. Stop this right now. Okay. Um, are you attempting to get him to, to stop attacking? Yes. Okay. Um, make a intimidation check for me. 14. Uh, 14. Um, he seems pretty dead set on what he's doing at this point. Um, he was blinded by Kellick. He seems... Metaphorically. <laughs> Metaphorically and literally. And literally. It was yes. to make a point. Yes, it was. <laughs> if only he understood that. Uh, he's um, not a bright guy. That's no, all I gotta say. Stupid. <laughs> he doesn't have any magic right now. Um, okay, next I think up. Use that is more than once. The warden. Um, we'll find okay. out. <laughs> I think so. Let's Probably. see. The warden. Um, I already wrapped it around Shreya, so if we can't. Olma's right in front of him. So he's gonna make a couple of attacks at Olma. Um, yeah, he's gonna he's gonna unsheathe his great sword, and he is going to raise it way over his head and just take a couple of massive swings Jeez. at Oma. Oh my um, child. Murdering a little girl. Jesus. That's gonna be a twenty-two to hit on the first one. Yeah, that hits. That is gonna be thirteen points of slashing damage. Okay. Then he's going to take another one. And that is going to be a 17 to hit. Hits. Hits, okay. That is going to be 11 points of damage. And as he is raising his sword up over his head and takes a, uh, uh, is getting ready to take that second swing at you, um, you can see he sort of mutters something under his breath and his hands begin to glow gold and it begins to come up onto the sword but then retracts back into his hands nice. as uh, the, the sword comes down. Uh, and that is, yeah, that's going to be his turn. He can't nice. do anything else. That's great. Okay, next up, Shreya. You're still a mouse. I'm still, yeah. I'm going to, so these orbs in his hands, uh, they're like physical things. They're not just like amorphous magic balls. It, they're no, objects. it's like it's like golden light that's flowing off of his hands. Okay, so they're not actual physical objects. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> I I am going to. What I'm going to do is I'm going to crawl <laughs> to the very top of his head, like mess up his hair or whatever, like whatever's on the top of his head. I'm just gonna like like bleep my feet. Uh, on the top of his head. Okay. And then, like, just... In his ear, and then just leap off of him. Okay. In an attempt to just freak him out. Okay. Um. <laughs> oh, make an intimidation check. Yep. Yeah, that sounds <laughs> right. Yep. That sounds good. Yep. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Rat-timidation. Uh, that's 10. A 10. Okay, where are you leaping to? Uh, I'm leaping just off next to him, preferably not toward the endless dark pit, uh, in an attempt to uh, run toward... I'm going to try to follow Flynn. Oh, okay. To use my movement after leaping off of him. 
All right. Um, if you're running towards Flynn, he's going to take his sword and he's going to turn around and he's going to try and take a try big swing me. at you okay, as you uh, leave his range. He has um, disadvantage because I'm a small creature. I will take that into How account. much movement do you have, too, to get out of the way? I'm going to say you would just be able to get five feet out of the way. Okay. Mm-hmm. With all of the movement that you ran up him. Yeah, that's fair. Okay. That's still going to be a 16 to hit. 16 up. No. Yeah, that hits. That hits. Someone's not going to be a rat much longer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, that is going to be eight points of slashing damage. Yeah. yeah I'm, that's... Can I can I can I be unconscious? Can I be an unconscious rat? No, you just I know. when you're yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you pop back into bird triathlon. Yeah, so you see me splayed out on the ground, uh, the fur just expands and <laughs> buckles and wings sprout out and the head cranes around and the beak just <laughs> as you see life go back into this body and, and the, the the as it as it started, the crystal is the last thing to materialize from fur. But does that freak pass? <laughs> yeah. um, no, it doesn't. Uh, it's, He's unshakable. Yeah. yeah, he is. Um, all right, next up, uh, the guard right in front of Kellick. He's going to take another uh, spear attack at you. No doubt. He's Bane, I think, right? Or no, did he fail? No, the no, one in front of Faraday is Bane. Oh, well, only one got it? Yeah. That's going to be a 10 to hit. And is not it. Okay, he misses I his his attack. Juke out of the way. Oma. Um, I am lying on the floor mm-hmm. in front of um, Hassel, um, bleeding <laughs> mm-hmm. a lot. Um, and I, this, this like, um, red just takes over my eyes. Just, just I, it, it's, it's like seeing red, but magnified by 1500. And um, I look at his glowing hands that kind of retracted back in. And I, from the ground, look up at him. I smile, and I'm like, have kind of like blood all over me. It looks like your magic left you. Not me. And I am going to shift to the right, just up of him, mm-hmm. staying within. Yep. And I'm going to reach out my hands and cast Burning Hands at third level. Okay. Let's go, dude. Is that an attack roll from you? No, um, it's no, a, it's a save from what you. What kind of save? Dex. Dex? I see. Yeah, he's probably going to save, though. That's a six. <gasps> This Failed. is gonna really hurt. Third level, baby. Okay, um. One second. Things are taking a turn, y'all. Things are really just Hi taking guys. a twisty twist turn. I mean, yeah. Um, I am covered Our in options blood. Are limited. I mean, I mean he, he, he did me pretty dirty, so. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Olma's always been a very forgiving person. Yeah, yeah very calm and stress. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Oh, geez, that's a lot of those. That is 18 points of burning of fire damage. Okay. And the guy behind him, right? Um, yeah, it's a 15 foot cube. Oh yeah, so there's a guard behind him that would yeah. take uh, that too. That's me as well, right? No, no, you're out of um, the range because it's it's 15 foot cube. It's a uh, cone. Uh, cone. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> okay, and the guard behind him, charred, falls to the ground. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. is dead. Yeah. He wasn't even fighting you guys. Um, oh. You know what? Sometimes um, you're in the wrong place at the wrong time. Mm-hmm. Casualties of war. <laughs> um, and good chaos. Callback. Chaos. Thank you. Oh, good. Chaos. Um, <laughs> magic. Yes. Time. What do I have to be? You have to be to one. Oh, you're at a okay. one right now. Five. Okay. Next up, uh, Flynn. What is going on? <laughs> I'm covered in blood. I'm As I turn covered. around and see the fire. <laughs> What are we doing? <laughs> and I look around. Do I see more guards coming towards us? Like, is there a siren going off? Like, what's going on? Um, you do not see any guards coming in. You see the stone slab that is over the stairs that brought you guys in. You get the feeling that this room is is currently locked down. There is oh. no way to get in or out. <laughs> um. <man>. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, well, I'm all the way over turn. there, so I might as well just try and get the key at this point. Do I see a key that says D on it? Um, uh, do you want to run into 
I mean, uh, it looks like I'm right at the door. Do I yeah. do I not see if I'm? You would have to run in to see. Let's run in. And as soon as you do, you see two guards. Oh. One on either side of you. All right, let's dance. <laughs> let's dance. Let's dance. <laughs> <laughs> um, you see them just running over to the wall to grab their spears and their their shields. They have just donned their equipment. Okay. <laughs> Hi, boys. Bonus action summon the sword. Yes! <laughs> nice. And I will uh, uh, look at one of them and. Badass. Uh, let me so see. badass. Hi, boys. <laughs> <laughs> hey, are you ready to dance? <laughs> okay, I will uh, uh, reach my hand up, but instead of taking the time to like rub my fingers, uh, how it usually happens when I rub my fingers to cast uh, a spell onto my sword, I just raise them up, and as I'm just raising my hand up, the, my fingers already start to glow, um, as feeling that energy and that magic seems easier to do now. And all I just do is snap, and uh, my fingers turn into a, uh, like a bit of flame, and I quickly run them across my blade, and I will attack uh, the one, one of them. Doesn't matter which one, but uh, I will okay. do I will do an attack on them. All right, um, make an attack roll. That is 19. A 19 hits, yeah. Oh. All right. So as this blade comes down, I, I'm going to cast the green flame blade and, and it runs the Is that fire. a bonus action? Um, no, it's an action. It's a cantrip that I can do and it, it allows me to do an, a weapon attack with it. Yeah, it's, part, it's built into it. So that will be some damage here. <laughs> okay. So yep. 13 points of piercing. And the fire damage, which is okay, uh, and three points of fire damage. Okay, so sixteen total. Sixteen total. Um, yeah. So he is just turning around from grabbing his equipment, and you make a perfect strike right through his neck, where there is absolutely no armor, and pull it back out as he falls to the ground dead. And I'll turn to the other one. I'm done being nice. Okay. <laughs> Next up, Kellick. <sighs> I'm trying to be nice to you guys here. <laughs> uh, and I, uh, <laughs> I will. It's cool, cool. Uh, and I'll uh, cast uh, Toll the Dead uh, on uh, this guy right in front of me. Uh, so that's a wisdom save from him. Okay. That is going to be a 17. <sighs> he succeeds. Damn it! <laughs> Turn and, uh, and cast healing word on Olma. Um, let's go with. It's got to be level one. Sorry. Um, I'm fine. That's a D four. For now. <laughs> I mean, there is a very dangerous person in front of me, but. <laughs> oh, nice. Uh, so that's uh, eight points of healing for Olma. Okay. Um, and that'll be my turn. Okay, um, that is your turn. Next up, we got a couple of the guards coming up. Um, let's see which ones are not dead. Um, okay, Faraday, the one, there's one guard right behind you. Mm-hmm. Um, he's gonna attack you with a spear. That is gonna be an 11 to hit. I assume that does not hit. Are we still doing with the advantage? Oh, with advantage, that's right. That's even lower, no. it. If an 11 doesn't hit, then no, we're good. Well, don't you only... Isn't Reckless just one round? Because she didn't attack recklessly this round. That's right. He misses. <laughs> uh, <laughs> either way. Uh, next up, let's see. Um, you got another guard right in front of you. He is baned. That's going to be another 11 to hit. Um, and I mean, nine with the bane. Yeah, um, that's right. I gotta get it. Gotta get it. <laughs> gotta, yeah, gotta shout it out. <laughs> okay. Um, and then let's see. This guard who was holding off just saw his other buddy who was also holding off get charred to a crisp. So he's going to join in the fight. Sure. Um, he's going to run up to Oma and make a spear attack. That's going to be a 19 to hit. That hits. Okay. Um, with the spear... That's going to be nine points of piercing damage. Mm-hmm. 
So, with him being within five feet of me, can I have a sentinel reaction? Yes, of course you can. So, I'm nice. going to attack. For sure. With my mom. That is a 16 to hit. A uh, 16, yeah, that hits. That makes contact. 12 of bludgeoning, and now he is stuck because he can't move. Okay. 12 of bludgeoning and... Wow, okay. He is not looking too great. Oh, um, that did a lot of damage to him. But next up, that's it. That's all of them. Um, the other one is dead. So, <laughs> uh, Faraday, you get uh, your turn again. What would you like to do? I am going to... Uh, reckless attack. I'm going to attack first um, the one that is behind me because okay. I don't appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> and that is a 17 to hit. Uh, 17 hits, yeah. Is 12 of bludgeoning. Okay. And then I'm going to turn around to the one that is baned because I also did not appreciate being mm-hmm. the tag team. Of course. And I'm going to use my t- extra attack to hit that one for nine. Nine does not hit. Okay. okay. Um, all right. Next up, Flynn. You got this other guard yeah. in the room with you. Um, he is going to take a spear attack. Okay. That is going to be an 18 to hit. Uh, shield. So shield? raise okay. my hand up, block it. All right, then that's that's the end of his turn. He lunges forward you with his uh, forward at you and shield deflects it. Um, next up, the warden. With Ulma right in front of him. And Ashraya right next to him. And Ashraya right next to him. I'm going to say it is my DM decision that it is his bonus action to reach down and rip the thread from his ankle. As a bonus? As a bonus. Mm. I tied on. it real tight, though. Something's going on with this guy. <laughs> it's it's middle of combat. I, I'm, I'm going to say he he doesn't have any finesse. He's, I'm going to roll for a strength check. It's a, it's a tiny little string, which he fucking blows out of the water. Um, bonus action. He reaches down, rips this thing off of his leg, and Oma, you're right in front of him. He's going to make two attacks at you once that's again. One, that's one fewer smite, though, right? Because smite's a bonus action. Smite is a bonus action. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So it's one more smite not done. So that uh, for the first attack with his great sword, that is going to be a 21 to hit. Oh, yeah, that hits. That is going to be 10 points of slashing damage. And okay. his second attack... That's going to be a 24 to hit. That hits. It's going to be seven points of slashing. Okay. That is... That's going to be the end of his turn. Um, all right, next up, Shreya. <laughs> Does he look weird at all that he's just like mowing down <laughs> a little 12-year-old girl? girl? No. <laughs> Doesn't seem phased. Not even cool. a little bit. Shreya, what are you doing? These are bad uh, people. <laughs> So, uh, seeing Olmo just get completely like heaped upon, heaped upon all these attacks, uh, as I for, as I come to back in my previous form, I crane my head to the side and I whisper uh, wisps of healing energy through the crystal as it uh, concentrates and then shoots in a straight line uh, toward Olma. As I am going to cast, I'm going to cast. Um, Healing word at third level. <laughs> okay. And that then that's all healing words are bonus actions, correct? I believe so, yeah. Uh, okay, so that will be uh, twelve points of healing. Wow. Over to Oma. Uh, and then I am going to uh, I'm going to run toward where I saw uh, I'm going to turn my head back toward because that was my direction I'm going to go run as far as I can toward the room that Flynn is in okay 
Um, Is anything happening with Zeta? <laughs> um, you see that... Uh, Sorry, I'm, I'm just no, distracted. That's, that's okay. <laughs> a couple of times during this fight, she's like sort of almost jumped in and, and you can see her like beginning to almost cast something, but the, the shackles around her, her seem to, to keep her from casting. Um, but Shrai, you're using your full movement to get over there? Yes, as close as I can anyway. You would be able to just get in the doorway. All right, that's where I am. And the warden, seeing that you are healing your companions, he's going to raise his fist up in the air and he's going to shout, Hold steady, man! And he is going to use a legendary action. What? To turn the tide. Um, what is that? He is, uh, he is going to expel radiant energy from the fist that he's raising in his hand um, to all of his uh, guards who have taken damage. And they are oh, all going no. to just heal a little bit. No way. <laughs> okay. Um, you look and you see a couple of the guards who have been hit and injured. Um, their wounds begin to, to close up and they a little bit more life begins to pour into them. You're not sure how much, but they seem to be doing a little bit better than they were previously. Um, and that is to all of the, his enemies who have been, or all of his allies who have been attacked. Next up, one of those guards, Kalik, right in front of you. Spear attack, right towards your torso. Mm -hmm. That's going to be a crit fail. Nice. So he lunges forward and completely misses. Uh, next up, Ulma. Um, I'm going to expend a key point. Okay. And um, bonus action... Disengage. All right. Yeah, I'm really angry, and I'm, like, covered in blood, and, and I'm kind of, like, back in kind of training uh -huh. mode in my mind. Um, so I'm going to um, run 30, run my full movement okay. oh, um, towards, um, um, towards, hmm, where is... Where is Zeta? Zeta is sort of in the back corner over Can by I the elevator. Can I get to her? Yeah, you would be able to. You would be running through a pair of guards. And would I take an... Um, you would. Um, okay, then I'm not going to go there. I'm going to go the other direction towards um, Sh um, Shreya and Flynn. Just like far away. I just want to go as far away as possible. Yeah, 30 feet. Okay. And then I'm going to um, pull my hands together and... Um, rub them and um, open them up and say we came this far and um, throw a chaos bolt at the warden. Okay. Is that an attack roll? It is an attack roll. Okay. Uh, terrible, terrible, terrible. Um, that is... Um, Nine. A no, nine? it's an eight. And no, that does not hit. Okay, that's my turn. Okay. Um, next oh, up. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Crit fail. Oh, no way. Wild okay. magic. Okay, wild magic. <laughs> wild magic. Jeez. Oh, Here it comes. Okay, the best okay. possible time. Thanks for moving closer to us. I really yes. appreciate it. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, God. Let me pull this up. I had to beat a two, guys. I'm really overwhelmed. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> mm, this is this is as much stimulation as we've ever had. <laughs> okay. Let me uh, roll for this. Okay. <laughs> please be good. Please be good. Please be good. <laughs> okay. <sighs> I don't like that face. It's no, either terrible for gonna... us or it's terrible for him, and I don't like that. It's terrible for us. It's no, it's bad for me. Um, oh, <gasps> oh. <laughs> saving the day again. You may. God, I fucking hate this. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just rip off the bandit. You can cast banishment on any one creature within sixty feet of you. Oh, yeah. What? Damn. I still. Do it. Let's see. Do I know? I, I somehow nuts. instinctively know this. They have the most saves still, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Save. 
I will look at him and I'll say, get lost. As the warden blinks out of existence. Yeah! Yes. <laughs> oh my god. Um, as he disappears, <sighs> I um I, I look at my hands <laughs> and and I look around and I and 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 I cover my mouth and I just stand there. I've just dodged a spear blow and I'm just like still <laughs> still looking in her direction Jeez. anyway. <laughs> Um, I'm covered. I'm like dripping blood. <laughs> it, it doesn't specify, but I am going to rule that you still have to hold concentration yes. on mm-hmm. this. Mm-hmm. But for the time being. But I'm away from everyone. I'm not nearby the anybody. The warden is no longer in the room. <sighs> Fuck. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Um. When you take away the DM's legendary <laughs> enemy. He was just about to use a legendary action, too. Um, okay, next up. Jeez. Uh, Flynn, the guard right in front of you. Yeah, so as I turn around and I say this, I kind of like pause for just a, a, a moment, realiz- realizing I don't know how I feel about that. Good, bad. And I look up at this another guard and I raise my fingers and they start to glow. And I see Shrya come around the corner. I put my hand down, and I go in for two non-lethal attacks. Okay. Make attack rolls. <laughs> uh, 20, what, 25 and 25 20. Hits. Yeah, they're yeah, both like sure. mid-20s. Okay. <sighs> oh, boy. All right, these are non-lethal. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, 10 points of damage. Okay. And then the other one is 11 points of damage. Okay. Um, how are you taking um, this non-lethal? He is knocked out. How are you I'm, taking it? Yeah, so I, I see Shrike around the corner. I'm like... <sighs> and I just like raise my sword and kind of uh, um, cut him once uh, across the, the armor to kind of like wound him. And then seeing that he's wounded, I, I raise the blunt of my weapon and just hit him in the head. Shrike! I couldn't... The other one jumped me in. He's dead. And I look for the key. Okay. <laughs> um, as you were looking for that key, Kellick. <laughs> as I see Alma do this, <laughs> I, I'm going to look to all these guys that are still around me in Faraday. Do you still really want to do this? Huh? Did you rally around your captain there? Make an intimidation check at advantage. Uh, intimidation? Uh, 21. Seeing that the warden is no longer there (laughs) and looking around at the other guards that you guys have just killed or knocked unconscious, all of the guards drop their weapons. (laughs) Yeah! Let's go. Are we out of initiative? We are now out of initiative. I'm going to grab that key. Do I see the key? I'm just going to sit quietly in the corner for a minute. Yeah. (laughs) Uh, He he would come back after a minute. Oh, yeah, would he? he? Would. Yeah, he yeah. will. He will come back. Oh, fuck. Okay, so... We so, quick. Sorry, so, no, never mind. So, down. never mind. I thought Not he stays minute. away for 10 rounds. No. Yeah, so, yeah, he would come rounds, back which would after be a minute. Yeah. A minute. Mm-hmm. Oh. Because yeah. a round is, like, six seconds. Then let's... Can we stay in initiative, then, so that we can, like, move quickly? Or should we not stay in initiative, so that we know actually what a minute is? Um, no, let's let's move out of initiative, and I'll judge. Okay, um, okay cool. So, Flynn, right, right yeah. as this happens... Um, You're looking around, and you see, not on the wall, but sort of under the table hanging there, you see some keys. Okay, uh, I'll just grab them all. Okay, grab them all. Do I see a, uh, well, do I see, like, a labeling system at all? Like, uh, do I, no? I'll grab them all. Okay, grab them all. Grab them all, and I'll be like, try a, (laughs) I look down at the body again, uh, that I I killed, and look back up at him. Let's go. We need to move quickly. I'm gonna pick up the, um, the string that was like dr- like after he tore it off that was dropped to the ground. I'm gonna mm-hmm. pick up the string. Okay. Okay. Hopefully it still works. Do I feel anything from it? Um he it, it feels like a part of it snapped, but it still feels like it's okay. it's still got whatever energy it had before. So let's go. Okay. Yeah, I'll, yeah. So I run out. And, Guys, I have the keys. Come on. Let's, I, I want to take Timmy. Brushing off the, the blood off of my cloak, and I'm just looking angrily. At can we? Can, yeah, let's take. Um, let's take Zeta with us. Yeah. Everyone. Can I take her? 
Can we take our chains off? Yes. Um, yes. Yeah, so I'm going to have... Who's uh, taking her chains off? I'm going to make that a sleight of hand Are check. you going to use the, the string imaging? No. Because they're mm-hmm. magical oh. chains. They they're not magical her. chains. Yeah, they were. Because they, they prevented are. her. Oh, they were she's a magical person. person. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, we I don't want to like... We have multiple of those strings. I don't want to... five originally, right? No, we just have one. You just, just have the one string. One. Yeah. yeah, but it's been used multiple times. Okay. All right, what are you guys doing? This, so yeah, she's gonna ticking. come to like there. Are, I'm assuming. Can we all just like meet over As here, like towards, towards D. the D? Yeah. Towards D. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You guys and, all and while we're the in the, I'll wait until we're in the elevator to take her magic thing off. Yeah. Okay. And I'll just going down. Yeah. yeah. Faraday, which one? And I'm like, I, I hold out all these keys that I have in my hands. I'm gonna look through and can I quickly pick out D? Yes. You you nice. quickly grab which one um, is is the elevator. Key. I still keep all of them. Okay. Hopefully, maybe they won't be able to follow us if they're not. Okay. I don't know. That's a guess. The warden probably has some, we'll, but yeah, let's sure. Go. <laughs> um, so as you guys are are moving down, uh, you guys get about to floor five before Oma. Whatever hold you had on the warden, you can sort of feel it release, and you guys keep moving down and moving down, and you guys get to the floor um, that is labeled that that Xavier is on. Mm-hmm. And right as you get there, you hear from up above this deep gong. Boom. Here we go. We gotta go. Boom. Boom. <sighs> and as you guys get to this floor in, <sighs> in right. sub block D, you look around and there's a lot less cells. Um, you see the cells are a lot bigger, but you mm-hmm. look into the cells and you guys see what you had seen before. All of these creatures that are in here completely locked into place with these magical chains around them, just as you had seen Xavier before. Um, completely locked, no movement in any of their bodies as they're chained into place. Best laid plans. Okay, um, so we've released Seda in the elevator. Okay. Let me look at your wounds there, Alma. And I'll uh, apply a, a healer's kit to Alma. Oh, nice. Nine plus, so 16 nice. points of healing. Nice. Knowing, uh, remembering uh, the, where Xavier was, I'm just going to quickly say that's three minutes and take us to the right uh, right side of the cell and start heading towards Xavier's cell. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, Faraday takes you directly oh, towards his cell. And um, Shreya, a very similar situation to where you had seen Xavier before. The long um, salt and pepper hair coming down over his face. Um, a beard has, has sort of like a stubbly beard has begun to grow. Um, you see these these robes that are over him just perfectly locked into place, unmoving. And I, I uh, caustically yet uh, kind of absurdly jesting with him, what say you? I told you I'd come back for you. And you see that at this point, an additional metal band has been put around his his mouth too. And you look into his eyes and he sort of raises one eyebrow at you and gives you a little, hmm. A mm. little nut. <laughs> I sneak around from behind Shreya okay. right up to the door. Savior! And his eyes fall into this, this very calm look. And uh, he looks over back at Shreya and he gives you a little wink and looks back at Oma. All right, how do we get into this cell? Faraday has the keys. So I use the key. <laughs> right. Open yeah. the door. Yeah. Open up the door. You are in the cell. I'm going to run into the cell and I'm going to wrap. Um, and I'm just going to uh, say, Xavier, what have they done to you? And wrap the no magic, the magic nulling thing around his mm-hmm. arm. One arm and then the other arm. Okay. And as soon as you do, the chain falls completely limp and his arm kind of drops down to the ground. And then his other arm drops down to the ground. He still has these heavy chains on him, but they are no longer magically imbued. Boy. Faraday, do you know how to get them off? Hey, Freed's no slouch, eh? <laughs> that string works wonders. Yeah. Faraday, do you know how to get the chains off? Would the keys be... Um, yes, yeah, so having... In in this cell block, there are more keys. So um, oh. a separate key would be used to unlock this portion of the chains. Okay, so I'm going to run towards the guard post to try to get those keys. Okay. Uh, the keys that Flynn currently has okay. are oh, actually perfect. one of them would one be able oh, to, to work for you. Flynn! Yeah. <laughs> 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 Flynn! And I start rifling through to try to find the ones that are for CPS. Okay. And after a couple seconds, um, all of the chains come undone. And finally, the mouthpiece is removed. And he looks to all of you. And he sort of nods yeah. to Ulma. And he looks back at Shreya and says, Good job. <laughs> I didn't quite know what it would take, but I knew it could be done. And he uh, he drops down to his knees and kind of opens up his arms mm-hmm. towards Ulma. I run and I All just right. like throw my arms around. I'm bleeding everywhere, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> Gives you a huge hug. And as he's sort of like patting you on the back of the head, um, this uh, these like wisps of purple energy sort of come off of his fingers and you are healed to full health. Oh, <laughs> what? Yeah. 
Jeez. I look kind of annoyed at this. <laughs> <laughs> um, and he looks to the rest of like you and points. he says, uh, what's the plan? I assume you have a plan. But <laughs> you assume incorrectly, sir. We had a plan. We did. And it was a really good plan, but it, it caught on to us. It didn't work. Yes, okay, we, so we definitely had a plan to get in here, but not so much one to get out. We had one to get out, but it didn't work. Day, how long? You said three minutes. Three yes. minutes till what? And three minutes for the entire prison to they'll lock all the entrances and then start coming down level by level until they Jeez. locate the threat. We gotta go. They've already locked the only one that really matters is the way out. I would normally be fine, but I don't have any of the the, the things I can I can use to cast. Um, mm. I, I'm I'm kind of lost here. Where would they have kept? Do they have your things here? No, I'm I'm sure they wouldn't. Um, mm-hmm. I wasn't even I, I, I was stripped of all my things at a previous prison. Say there it. they. Is there any uh, mechanism, is there anything in the works of this facility that may, this is a long shot here, release a failsafe that just releases all of the doors at once? (laughs) Nothing I would have access to down here. However, right now, our best bet is to see if the elevators are still working, if they've not yet locked them down, that can try to get up as as fast as we possibly can. Okay. I mean, we've been moving pretty quick so far, so we got three minutes. Let's just go. Okay, uh, let's move. Let's jump it. back on the elevator. Come on, everyone! All right, um, you guys jump back on the elevator. Get ready for a fight. And as you guys are being raised back up, I'm going to have everyone roll initiative um, once in again. Action. As we're being raised up, yeah. I'll... Uh, Natural 20. I'll oh, my the first my sword. And, uh, as we're being raised up, I'll bonus action some of my bow. String okay. that across. The quiver comes back to my, my back uh, strap and kind of pull my sword back out. Okay. Um... I like to imagine it it was supposed to go in your backpack, so it just falls next to your backpack, <laughs> put it over. So, yeah. um, I'm gonna turn to Faraday and I'm gonna hold I'm gonna reach into my um my sock and pull out um, a vial of potion that is sparkly and shimmery, and I'm gonna turn to Faraday and I'm gonna say, um, you're already really big, but you wanna get even bigger? And maybe you can just squash everyone. And I'm gonna hand it to her, and I say, I, um, this can make you as big as, as big as like, like, thirteen feet tall. Um, what do you think? You are absolutely full of surprises. Let's see how far up we can get in the elevator. <laughs> All right, so you take. Are you, you grab the potion? I'm, are you? Yeah, not. I mean, not until not, we get okay, into somewhere okay. that she can be that big. But yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. But she's holding on to it. Is this an open, in open hand. ceiling elevator? Yes, this is. The mall in one oh, hand, nice. potion like ready. Do we know how long it lasts? An hour? Um, yes, it, it lasts an hour. But this, this doesn't like. There's no like exit. There's no like ceiling outside of this. No, it right? goes. It, it goes straight up into the the floor that you guys were currently or that you guys were previously fighting. Right, but above that, there's no like the, there's a roof over that building. Correct. Okay. Yes. And that's what the stairs that took you down to there, that's what's currently blocked by the mm-hmm. stone. Okay. Okay. Um, as you guys get to the top, um, you look, and in front of you, there's that, that spiral staircase that's currently completely blocked off by stone. On your left, you see um, a, a bunch of guards that have uh, uh, come from you don't know where. Maybe they open the slab and let more in. Um, but you see more guards standing there. And off to the right, you see with another group. You see the warden standing there. Mm, he's bad. He looks pissed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So with that, sure. I'm gonna have everyone roll initiative. Um, first up, <laughs> Kellick. Uh, Eleven. Again. <laughs> Eleven. And consistently okay. bad at initiative. <laughs> nice. Which is good for clerics. Um, Oma. Twenty-three. Nice. Twenty-three. Oh yeah, natural twenty. Um, next up is Shreya. Uh, seven. <laughs> Seven. Faraday. Fifteen. Fifteen. I also got a fifteen. Okay. Um, what is your dex modifier? Uh, plus four. And what's Faraday's? Two. Okay, so Flynn goes first. Give me one moment here. Maybe I'll have a wild magic thing again. <laughs> yeah, just banish him again. Can you do that again? Two. Can I just do that again? Two. Yeah. <laughs> Get lost again. <laughs> oh man, doesn't work. <laughs> Get the sink. <laughs> sink. <laughs> uh. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. Um, <laughs> first up in the initiative, Oma. Mm-hmm. What are you doing? You see a total of 10 guards plus the warden. Just banish them all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did it once. Um, and as you guys get to the, the top of the elevator, um, Xavier having no magic currently to, to speak of, um, he steps with Tito and they kind of take a step back, wait, taking, um, letting you guys take the front line. So, Oma, what are you doing? How does Zeta look? So Zeta looks like she's ready for a issue Zeta for a fight. Zeta looks pumped. <laughs> Zeta, 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 Zeta is ready to kick yeah. some I don't know this person, really. Yeah. Like... Uh-oh. Give her us. Um, who knows what's happened to her down here, though. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. Very true. Okay, so I am going to bonus action. Um, um, I'm going to bonus action. Or, sorry, yeah. Um, I'm going to qu- um, twin spell. Um... Um, one second. Yeah, two, two chaos bolts um, in two different directions, twin spells, so I'm going to send them in two different directions um, at level three, um, one towards, one starting at, one towards the warden and one towards the um, number, um, the, the guards on the other side, start with seven, I guess, like okay. the closest guard to me on the other side. Um... Should I roll attack twice on those? Or? Yes, roll attack twice. Because it's a twin spell, so that's what I'm saying. Is it But is it for them? I would say, yeah, roll it twice. Um, I think they, they both fail. Okay. Well, two of them? You're at a, you're at a one. So two yes, them? Two, two rolls. Crit fail. No what? way! Another wild magic search. Okay. Good one. No. Good okay, one. we're doing this. We're doing this. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm rolling. This, this is unprecedented. Kill us off. For sure. 100. percent For sure. It has to. It has Statistically. to. Statistically. <laughs> we can't banish again. Well, ourselves. What if we all got banished <laughs> to the fire plane and then caught dream run? <laughs> oh, no. Uh, and that could be the irony. <laughs> okay. Um, Olma. Uh, as soon as you cast the spell, you almost hear your eardrums burst. But then everything goes completely silent mm-hmm. as the volume begins to get from lower to louder to louder to louder. And everything around you almost begins to scream. You can hear each of the pieces of metal between the guards' uh, the armor moving. You can hear the heartbeats of everyone in the room. Uh, you can hear... <gasps> people 30 floors down within the prison speaking to one another. You can hear absolutely everything in this prison. Um, and you get advantage on all hearing perception checks for the next <laughs> hour. Oh, okay. All right. I mean, not a banish, but... Not, not, not bad. bad. We can get out of this, being able to hear do, I, do I hear more guards lining up outside? Nice. Um, nice you, idea. Uh, you currently hear the rest of the prison beginning to lock down. So you hear guards um, sort of okay. going to their stations. You don't hear guards up top directly from where you are currently. You do hear doors closing, though. <laughs> All right. Um, next up, one of these guards is going to uh, break the line, run up, and run up towards Flynn. Uh, he's going to do a spear attack. Okay. That is going to be... That's a natural 20. Uh, what's the total? The total is... I think it, I think it, I think it hits probably. Uh, 23. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it hits. Okay, that is going to be... 13 points of piercing damage. Ugh. Okay. Next up, the Warden. The Warden is going to run up. Still mad at me? <laughs> Why would he be mad? Um, yeah, he's, he's pretty pissed at Oma. Um, but actually, Flynn is closer, so he's going to run yeah. up towards uh, towards Flynn, and uh, he is going to... Yeah, he's going to take a couple of swings at you with his, uh, with his sword. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That first one. Ooh. That one's going to be an eight to hit. Eight does not hit. Next one. That's going to be a dirty 20 to hit. Uh, shield. Shield. Okay. <gasps> yeah. Why couldn't he have been hitting you this whole I time? Know. <laughs> <laughs> He's up here. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so All I right. raise my hand up and, and just quickly the, the shimmering barrier <laughs> holds steadfast uh, around my platform. 
Okay. Um, that is, that's his turn. Next up on the initiative, um, you guys here, sort of piping up from behind you, um, Xavier, who <laughs> is, uh, who's standing there, and he's sort of been eyeing all of you guys, and he looks over towards Kellick, and he looks down towards your belt, where you have a couple of bags of spell components. Oh, oh all right, so you got to keep badass. all of your spell components. That's right. <gasps> oh, right. And he looks and he points and he says, you, get here now. And that's going to be his turn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, next up, another one of the guards is going to run up. Um, would he have to run by me? No. No, because you guys are sort of in a line here. Um, he's going to run up and attack Shreya. So Shreya, that's right. going to be a 21 to hit. Oh, that hits. That hits. <laughs> <laughs> That is going to be six points of piercing damage. All right. Next up, Flynn. Oh, me already? Um, yeah. You got the warden and another guard directly in front of you. Man. That's so hard to not kill people. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about it. I mean, they're trying to kill you, so... I will. Given the circumstances. <laughs> um, knowing that uh, the warden was originally planning on, or has been dealing with Alma and hurting Alma and potentially maybe was going to try and attack her, I will try and prevent that a little bit. And I will uh, unsheath my sword uh, and just my fingers. I raise them up and I, without even having to, again, I just I snap and you, you see the, the glowing energy from my fingers instead of having to warm it up and I just immediately tap once instead of uh, multiple times on my sword and it uh, activates the booming blade and I come down with a strike on the warden. Okay. Make an attack roll. I shall. Uh, it's a uh, 23? Yeah, 23 okay. hits. Alright, so this does some damage. Who does that? On a hit. Yes, yeah, so uh, it takes um, as, I, as I cut some of the energy just expands this cut and uh, and stretches it more as he takes uh, five points of uh, thunder damage as well on top of that. Okay. And that, that cut is now pulsing uh, and just like, it's not ripping anymore, but it, it seems like it's like on the brink and it's just like there. Um, and quickly I will turn and uh, bring my sword back up as I did that a lot quicker than normal as I can now do an attack as a bonus action, so I will use my bonus action okay. to swing upwards again and, and, and cut him again. Holy right. moly. Stay here. Make an attack roll. Oh, that's really low. Um, boop, 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 boop. Uh, 12? Uh, 12 does not hit, okay. as you, you actually make contact with the armor, but yeah. not enough to actually uh, deal any damage. And I will, uh, yeah, I'll just stay there and try and keep his attention. All right, Faraday. So I am going to, just as before, I'm going to enter into a rage. Nice. And I am going to charge up. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to uh, reach out to the potion that Oma gave me. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to swig it. What does it taste like and how does it feel? <laughs> it tastes extremely bitter. It's almost like you're drinking like a liquefied root. Um, very earthy, very bitter. Um and uh, as Oma had mentioned to you earlier, like she said, you'd be able to, to increase your size. So as you're drinking it back, you sort of are thinking about that increase in size. And all of a sudden you grow and enlarge to 13 feet tall. You're actually a dragon now. <laughs> yeah, you are cool, cool. massive. So um, I am going to reckless attack. I'm going to step out and basically uh, swing him like a golf ball and hit the warden. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Come into the hole right there. Basically. Yeah. Make an attack roll. Swing down. That is a twenty-one to hit. A uh, twenty-one, which you are also adding plus five because of your increased size. Nice. Uh, so yeah, a twenty-six. So any <laughs> attack rolls and damage rolls, you add plus five because you are making strength-based um, attacks. Hey. -o. So um, right that person being to said, take that one. Roll your damage. <laughs> Ew. 
That is 18. 18, okay. <laughs> um, I'm also going to have you make a strength check at advantage for me. <laughs> plus five. Yeah, plus five. Eight. Plus Eight five. Plus five. <laughs> well, plus your, your regular modifier, plus five. Oh, that's a big difference. Okay. <laughs> big um, you swing down at this dwarf little. and. Wait, um, modifier for the weapon or for strength? For strength. Oh, sorry. Uh, 16. Uh, 16, still. <laughs> you swing down and with your increased size um, are able to actually lift this dwarf up off of the ground. You see him flying through the air, totally unconscious, um, as he hits Whoa. the warden for. <laughs> Seven points of bludgeoning damage. Hey! Human, or dwarven, excuse dwarven me. Dwarven projectile. Dwarven projectile. <laughs> yes. Okay. Oh um, and is, so he, is he now out of the way? So I'm oh, yes. near the warden now? Uh, do you want to move up towards the warden? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to uh, move up towards it and use extra attack. Oh, that's right. You've got another attack. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> that is, uh, that's a good 13. Uh, 13 does not hit. No. Does she have to... Did, are you supposed to add the... Uh, is the 5 to... The 5 is to oh, everything. Oh, 5. Yeah. Okay, so then it's... Thank you. 18. Still does not hit. Okay. <laughs> Still does not hit. Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> Next up, uh, another one of these guards, uh, seeing Faraday's increased size, is going to run up and try and attack Faraday. That is going to be a 21 to hit. That hits. Okay. Eight points of piercing damage. Mm-hmm. That is four. <laughs> Cutting that in half. Nice. Um, Kellick. <clears throat> I do not like being spoken to this way by anybody. <laughs> so, I will fir- so I will first, like, raise my eyebrows skeptically, like, okay, this is really how we're gonna... And then I will... <laughs> l- um, what's the word? Uh, lethargically, slowly, kind of uh, 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 turn to... Savior, because I think I'm right next to him. Yes. Uh, and I will, I will hand him my component pouch. Um, uh, and assuming that's not an action, no. um, I will also um, put my hand on his heart and once again cast Enhance Ability. Oh, okay. And I'm going to, um, this time, uh, this time it's the little poof in front of my hand on his heart. Uh, but it spreads up to his shoulders, and he gets the uh, a a certain uh, ashy uh, mantle that I have seen before. Uh, as he gets bears endurance, right. so he gains two d six temporary hit points, and he has advantage on Constitution checks. That's huge. Okay. Yeah, that's a good idea. And I just say, I have a name. It's Kalik. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, he doesn't even acknowledge. Uh, okay, next up, we've got two more guards. Oh my god, so many guards. A guard runs up to uh, Zeta and is going to attempt to spear attack her, which is an 11, which misses. Um, the spear lunges forward and she sort of ducks out of the way and it goes right over her shoulder as she, right in front of her, casts spiritual weapon. Um <gasps> And uh, as this, uh, this, this like, um, this almost seafoam green light begins to, to emerge right in front of her, it like almost emerges and like makes itself part of this dwarven guard that's right in front of her. And it sort of overtakes his body as the light then coalesces into this, this massive blade, like uh, this circular saw that, that apparates directly in front of her. Um, and she's going to use that to attack. Spiritual weapon. By the way, uh, Xavier gets six additional hit points. Oh, nice. Okay. Temporary. Okay, this is going to be a melee spell attack. Natural 20. You. Dang. Nice. <laughs> okay, so this magical energy like coalesces within the dwarf that's directly in front of her, and all of a sudden this circular like saw blade protrudes oh. out from the dwarf 
God. as he freezes and completely splits in half. Oh, boy. Oh, we are as so now unfair. directly in front of Zeta, a spinning saw blade uh, has appeared. Yep. Made wow. of this, this seafoam green energy. Yep. Ooh. Yep. Solid. That is her wow. turn. Next up is Shreya. Uh, so I, what's my, what's the ceiling? I mean, 13 feet, right? Uh, is the height, or more than 13 feet is the height of the ceiling in here, correct? Uh, no, the ceiling is actually quite low. It's quite room. low? Yes. Oh, yeah, I, okay. it's it's just about uh, probably, Faraday, you have to actually probably hunch over mm-hmm. in, in this room. It's, mm-hmm. it's probably no higher than 10 feet. Yeah. You bend your knees to fight anyway. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm crouching. Yeah. Uh, Use so your gore. <laughs> are, am, I, am I to believe these rectangular uh, figures here are like elevators? Yes. So you I are could, pressed I, up against the elevators, yeah. Okay. So they do, but they do have walls around them. I can't like, like leap over them or you anything. You would be able to. I could yeah, be able a, to. It's a complete open area. Yeah. Could I, can I see Xavier where he is? Yes, you can. Uh, I'm going to use... Uh, I'm going to use the action to call over to Xavier. Xavier! You have something in mind to get us out of here! I do. Get over here. Uh, and I'm just going to lunge and His like... His name is Trya! <laughs> and I'm just going to lunge and use my wings to like... Uh, just... Fl- flush myself? I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, swoop right. myself yeah. across the... Flush myself across the elevator uh, and, and get next to Xavier. Okay. Um, as you land, you can see he's beginning to rifle through this this pouch of components and picking certain things out. And right as you land, without even looking up at you, he reaches his hand out towards your wing and just plucks a feather out <laughs> and puts it down with his other components and begins <laughs> mixing them about. Oh my gosh. I trust you. And uh, I'm going to uh, charge up my staff and... Uh, it glows with the purple pink energy as a, a shield around it forms that's like a layer that turns it magical and uh, now it's pulsing with shillelagh energy as I uh, raise it in front of Xavier to defend any foe that uh, attempts to get toward him. Okay, nice. Um, all right, next up, the rest of these guards, they are running up. Um, we've got a couple that are going to run up towards Zeta and the first one is going to hit with a spear attack, dealing three points of piercing damage. Second one is going to run up to Zeta also um, and is going to miss his spear attack. Um, And the other two guards over on the left are just going to run up and provide support right behind us. They can't really quite move around. They've got the stairs on one side and the guard post on the other. They can't quite move around. Um, So... Next up, Oma. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to... Um, hmm. Um, yeah, as much as I want to go help Zeta, I... Um, um, the warden, like, was really, really mean to me. Yeah. <laughs> so I can't really leave him. Um, so I'm going to, first off, um, use two sorcery points, my last two to cast um, a quickened spell. And I keep missing him. Like, everything I've done so far mm-hmm. has not really hit him. So I'm going to use Tides of Chaos. Ooh. Okay. On my first spell. But I used quickened spell, so I get two. So the first one I'm going to do is I am going to... Um, at second level, cast... Chaos bolts. All right. Using tides of chaos. Natural twenty. Hot yeah. dog. Natural twenty. Wow. Right Hot diggity dog. Okay. Um. Okay. So. <laughs> um. Two d eight and two d six. So many dies. 2d8, 2d6. Is that the damage? Yes, that's the. So, so 2d8 and 2d6 is the total damage. So, can somebody else do that math for me? Yes. 16 plus 12. Plus 12, right? 28. So 28. Plus 14. 28 Jeez. plus 14. 
Of, 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 um, fire damage. (laughs) 42 of fire damage. He full on takes that fire damage. Jeez. Um, and as he looks at you, you, uh, he, he sort of braces himself against the fire and he, he pulls up his armor, um, to brace himself from as much of it as he can. But as he lowers his arm and, and that, um, and his, his armor, you can see half of his face just totally charred. And you can see that char coming down to, uh, to the entire left-hand side of his body. Okay. And then chaos. Yep. Three. Okay. Um, and then that was quick and spell. So I'm going to look him in the eyes as he's melting. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Who's the tough guy now? And hit him again with it. Another one. Okay. okay. Yeah, probably. probably missed. Um, fifteen. Fifteen does not hit. Yeah. Okay, but still some serious damage laid down. Um. Okay. Flynn, there's a guard right in front of you. He's gonna reach out with his spear. Oh sure. That's uh, gonna be a six to hit. Uh, yeah, that'll miss. Yeah, that's gonna miss. <laughs> Do you want to use shield? Uh, let me think. Uh, I think I'll be okay. Next up, the warden. The warden. Um, Faraday is is <laughs> Just massive. massive and right there, but he's also been going at Flynn. He's gonna make an attack towards Flynn. Flynn okay. is his current target. Bring it on. He's gonna make two attacks. Bring it on twice. <laughs> Double bring it on. Double bring it on. <laughs> that first swing. It's gonna be a natural twenty. Of course. Oh. And what, so the total, I mean, it doesn't matter. Never mind. Go uh, ahead. There's a natural 20? Oh, it is a natural 20. Are you close enough? Uh, mm-hmm. Am I? Am I within you 30 are feet? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. No, you are not within 30 okay. feet. Oh, wait. Uh, no, wait. Hang on. I'm wrong. <laughs> Fucking really, dude? He is 45 feet away. Oh. Is it 60 or 30? It's 30. Okay. That's I fine. thought it was okay. 60, but it's not. I'll be all right. Flynn. I know and what you can as do. he yep. reaches his yep. hands up, his hands also begin Device to glow. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, man. It's going to hurt. The base damage for this is going to be 31 points. Of okay. Let me do that first. Okay. I'm going to add that. 31? 31. Okay. And then on top of that, going to be another 13 for the slashing damage. Okay. And then for the divine smite. Oh, that's shit. 16 points. I am unconscious. Okay. okay. As the sword <laughs> hits me and the pulsing energy, I fall down. Okay. Sentinel reaction. <laughs> okay, Faraday him. gets a sentinel. Yeah, yeah you do. Him. <laughs> Seeing him attack yeah, Dragonborn. Yeah. <laughs> get him. I am going to take a giant swing at him to just try to get him as far away from us as possible. Okay. 26. Uh, 26 hits, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and re- reckless attack. Oh, okay. Oh, no, wait. Can, do I have reckless attack? Can I reckless attack the sentinel or no? No. Okay. You didn't. You cannot. So then, just, oh, they were uh, both the, the They were both the same. Okay. <laughs> Shockingly. Yeah. Mapping. 12. 12 points of damage. Okay. Make a... No, this is a reaction. Never mind. Yeah. And he can't move now, right? Yes. And he has any move. move. Okay. Next up is... Oh, uh, the warden. That's yeah. right. I don't know if he's hitting me again. Um, no. Okay. You are unconscious. <laughs> he's going to turn to the next biggest threat, which is Faraday. Mm-hmm. But he can't move, so he can only attack. True, true. He can only attack, yeah. That's going to be a 22 to hit, Faraday. That hits. Okay. It's going to be 15 points of slashing damage. Okay, and half. That's number seven. <laughs> Barbarian! Yeah. <laughs> cool, cool. Um, and <laughs> as he swings and just uh, swipes you across the chest and and sort of at your clavicle, you're you're able to feel this sword bury itself deep into um, your chest. And as you're about to reel back and attack him once more, there's a blinding light around you, and the rest of you completely blinded by this white. Savior. As all of a sudden the white recedes. And you feel grass beneath your feet. Yeah. <laughs> and you see trees around you. Yo. And you guys can see some rolling hills. And just off in the distance, you can see the massive walls of Oak and Spire. You guys what? are safe and we are out of initiative. Oh. What? Is everybody here? Like Timmy? Am and, I here? And, and, and Tito? Everyone, everyone in your group. Okay. Tito, Zeta, Flynn. 
Everyone is here. Flynn is currently unconscious. I'm on bleeding the out on the ground. I don't <laughs> see any of that. <laughs> <laughs> I Yo. immediately feel the grass under my feet. Um, I turn to Xavier and I just run up to him and I like throw my arms around his waist. Okay, he gives you a huge hug. You can tell he's a little bit weak. Mm-hmm. Um, not not at, at full strength here, but he also wraps his hands around you. I stumble uh, just from the shock of it as I turn to Flynn and I and I nearly fall over, but I uh, <laughs> pull myself up to go run to his aid and and uh, restore him. Okay. I lean over to Tito and I say, Tito, my, my, how you've, uh, and I look back at myself, we, uh, my, We've we've grown. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I don't know who you are. Oh, you may not. You may not have. Let's. I'll explain everything shortly. So I'm gonna have this initial reaction of just being like, because I'm still raging. I'm just like turning around, trying to find <laughs> where the warden is, and then realizing like that we are not in the prison anymore. I'm gonna disengage from rage. Okay. Non doom. I cast uh, spare the dying on. Flynn Fellow Weave, uh, and then I will um, apply a healing kit as well. Do I hear anything interesting since I've got um, extra... 16 points of healing. Oh, um, since you've got extra hearing, make a perception check. (gasps) At advantage. Where are we? (sighs) We're safe then. We're safe. All right. 20. Uh, 20. 20. Uh, You hear some birds up in the distance. You hear everyone's heartbeat pounding. Uh, but nothing incredibly out of the ordinary for this situation. Doing all right, lad? Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. Good I'm job there. Right. What, where, how, do, how, how? I give Flynn a little, like, smack on the face. Like, yeah. My face is, <laughs> um, Adam. my face is still smushed into Xavier's, um, like, waist, and I just say, well, I think that went well. You, I point at Xavier. You had better be worth it, sir. <laughs> We've been through a lot to get here. Well, I mean, I can't imagine uh, my worth being more than any one of yours having saved me from that place. What did you do to get thrown behind bars? So much as those? That's a uh, much longer conversation. I'm willing to tell, but uh, I think this might not be the place. I. Where's the closest uh, haven we could go to? How far are we from um, the circle? So the teleportation circle is sort of on the outskirts of Oak and Spire. It's not too far into the city. Mm-hmm. Um, so you would really, the main trek would just be getting back to the city from this open field that you guys are currently in. And the odds of the prison being able to let people know of like this massive outbreak as quickly as we went out is very unlikely. So I think we should go to the teleportation circle and get out of here. I need my things. I do too, but we can always take the teleportation circle back in a little bit. Centria is But right now you're saying the city probably doesn't know what's going on. If we leave and come back in a few hours, they'll know what's going on. It might be good to just run in there, grab our stuff and go. Let's split the difference. Who can move the fastest? Uh, I can fly. Oh, I can move really, really fast. No, no, I know exactly where we're going. I know exactly where I'm going, and I can go really fast. Because we should get our high-profile targets out of here first. I mean, I suppose that's all of us now. Actually. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. Um. I look over. I look over at Tito. We can probably move the quickest of anyone. And it was a high. It was a top floor place we were standing, so they could just go through the window. Yeah. Don't even have to go in the entrance to the end. We just go in the top. Won't people see them flying? I mean, at this point, yes. it doesn't really matter, does they it? They will. <laughs> I think it's mostly about speed. It's about right? speed, yeah. I could go with you. No, I think if we're going to fly, we just fly. If we're going to run through the streets quietly, we ru- are we sneaking or are we... Like, that? Like that's the thing. If we go for if we go for quiet, I can get in and get out. I mean, it's just my two bags. That's the rest I'm of just going to do it. Out. I'm going to go in and go out. I'm just going to run. Where do we okay. go? I'll meet you at the teleportation circle. Okay. I won't let you go alone. Well, you shouldn't go with me. I'm... Zeta, you know the city really well. Will you come with me? Yeah, no, I'll come with you. Can I... Do I get any spooky vibes from Zeta? Yeah, make, a, make a spooky vibes check. Whatever. Um, 11. 11? You can't really get a good read. You don't know... 
uh, you can't really pick up on any motivation here. Okay. Um. If you don't trust Zeta, I'll go by myself. Xavier, right. can you make us move fast? Can you move? Can you get out of the stuff? Not with what I have right now. Mm-hmm. No. Can you help her at all? Have? My sickles, Flynn's bag. Um, I guess Shrya's got his. Things. I had everything yeah. with me. Yeah, and it's just my bags. bag. It's my pack. It's your pack, and and your sickle. All right. Yeah. I also, mine. your sickle is not that great. I mean, you could just like. It's a. Does it really sickle. matter? Have matter you seen if you it? don't have. Is there nothing special about it? It glows with light. Don't you just make it glow with light, though? No, it does its own thing. Okay. Without me. Um, yeah, so I'm going to just like, um, I'm going to turn to Xavier and say, I can do this. I'll be cry. I'll be quick. I'll cast another uh, Xavier's cool ash and mantle phase, and I'll cast Enhance Ability on Olma. Yeah. Uh, give her uh, cats and cats, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. Uh, she gets advantage on dexterity checks. And, and faster, right? And you don't take as much damage from falling. One second. Okay. I, I slowly reach my staff over and tap her with it as this expansive energy kind of shocks into her and it's a jump. So you can now jump three times here. <laughs> oh, cool. geez, nice. that's awesome. That's awesome, nice. that shit. Yes. Yeah, and I'm going to also um, expend a key point and use um, for as long as possible um, to kind of like, when I get closer to it, I'm going to use Step of the Wind. So. Nice. Okay. So yeah, you have advantage on dex checks and uh, you don't oh, oh, take so damage from falling 20 feet or less. So you great. could literally jump I'm going to jump into that. So <laughs> what awesome. I'm going to do is when I get closer to where we where we are, I'm going to take to the roofs, like closer to our hotel. I'm going to take to the roofs and okay. I'm going to use um, um, Step of the Wind to do a rooftop jump from to double my jump speed and then triple it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so triple your jump height. Double it and then triple the doubled. <laughs> to, okay. like, jump from- I'm not. I'm not even going to make you make a check on this. <laughs> With all of the stuff that's cast on you, you are. Bounding over. Her heels are yeah. like burning with embers <laughs> as she comes across. <laughs> All right, Oma, you are just bounding over mm-hmm. these these Walls houses, these and shops. houses, and <laughs> your feet are barely touching the ground as you're as you're making your way through the city, um, and you very quickly come across the inn that you guys were. Mm-hmm. Uh, how are you getting in? How am I getting in? I'm gonna jump in to the to our window. Yeah, you okay. are. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there is an open window. You yeah. jump in. You land. You look yeah. around. Your room was exactly as Great. you left. I'm it. I'm gonna get everything. Okay. So, um, Flynn's bag, my bag, and the sickle. Two okay. sickles. <laughs> and I have my, my old one my, too. I have two bags. It's got sentimental. I'm gonna value. get the fancy sickle. I'm not okay. gonna get the sickle. I'm gonna get the fancy sickle. Okay. You grab everything. And Why do you need the other sickle? It, it's my sickle. <laughs> yeah, I don't. It's two sickles. That's small. Put it in small. Flynn's bag. Oh, would it fit in Flynn's bag? <laughs> is it bag of holding? Is, is yeah, it, so it I, is okay, a bag of holding. Like, you could put everything. I could in put there everything in Flynn's to. bag. Yeah, no, yeah. but Flynn's bag has a gross little petrified head in it. It might come out with some mold. Some I'm, not gonna put my, I'm not going to put my bag in Flynn's okay. bag. Do you even right. know that that head's in there? I think at this point I would. I imagine You've after like weeks it. of traveling, okay. I would okay. know that there's a head in your bag. But in this moment, I'm only going to put. I'm only going to put Kelly's stuff in it. Okay. <laughs> but I'm also gonna grab that robe. I'm also gonna grab that robe that I wore. The bathrobe. Though. The gotcha. bathrobe. Nice. And okay. I'm gonna shove that in my bag. There okay. You go. There you go. There you go. All right. <laughs> All right. Um, so as Olma is doing this, um, the rest of you guys are just sort of laying low in the outskirts of um, the city. What? Heading uh, toward. Let's head towards uh, the teleportation. Yeah, so I'm yeah. sure that's where she's gonna be running to next. Xavier, uh, we have uh, allied ourselves with a, a very powerful wizard named Hayfried. Um and, Do they know each other? They might know each other. <laughs> um, so we're headed to the teleportation circle now. Uh, it should be safe when we get there. Um, okay. He has some sort of, um, I don't know, chamber, interdimensional chamber that we can uh, hide in for the time being. Perfect. Um, uh, let's do it. A little flabbergasted by Tito's last comment. Can I, is he in his right mind? Can I, do I, can I tell like what his mental state is? Um, actually, as you look over at Tito, he's still like squirming around. He's got this, this brace over his <laughs> he wings He actually still. has Oh, yeah. dream rod. <laughs> yeah. yeah right. uh, Fuck, I off. didn't even, I wasn't even, uh, silly me. And I'm going to uh, undo all the, ba- I'm going to try to do undo the bindings. Right. And you barely even finish getting the bindings off as his wings spring out to full capacity. He lifts himself up over uh, the top of you guys and into the air and just shoots directly straight up into the air. Where are you, Dino? Where are you going? And the rest of you just hear, ah! Uh, it, does it does it look like he's just going, going, gone, or is he? No, he's he, just going straight up into the air. He's not going up. in any direction, just straight up. Go with okay. Him, uh, I guess I'll take off after him. Okay. Um, and he's 
going full speed, but eventually you do catch up to him. Um, and you both sort of stop a couple hundred feet above the air. Uh, now in this sort of hovering uh, state, I'm like going to check him out and be like, is this, is he in his right mind? Is he still like... Make an insight check. Read his... Insane. How long he's been down there. Yeah. You know. um, oh, also, while I'm running through... I'm using my extra perception to make sure I don't get caught. Hey, there we go. Okay. Uh, 21. <laughs> 21. Um, you look at Tito, and funny enough, he kind of reminds you of yourself when you first branched out from your tribe. Um, he seems a little bit s- strange, um, but those social quirks are are things that you recognize um, and that you had sort of learned to suppress or, or hide um, for the most part uh, over over the, the time that you've taken in the world of men and dwarves and elves. Um, so that's mostly what it is. is. It's like it's ticks that you have overcome but that he's still got. I'm going to start to communicate in uh, just pure, like... The okay. Aran language and uh, bod- body movements, more bird-like movements, uh, in my communication style with Tito, uh, in an attempt to uh, have me come across as a friend and ally, mm-hmm. and also since he does not recognize me, uh, and I recognize him, uh, I'm going to try to communicate like the tribal, like. This, the the bodily motion or movement that that would communicate that we are from the same place. Okay, and um, as soon as you start doing this, he sort of starts twitching and moving in a very similar fashion um, to you, and and you can tell that there's a recognition there. Uh, and then remembering that we we have places to go, we have places to be. I'm gonna like motion for him to just follow me and just to trust me. Okay, and as you move, he moves with you. Great. We're right. going to go back down. To the and <laughs> as you are heading back down, what are the rest of you up to? Say, Timmy. Yeah? Uh, I don't know about you, but I, I think maybe it's not the best idea for you to return to Oakenspire. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. So. I the, need to get a new job. Yeah, I, you know, I had a, the same kind of thought, thought along the same kind of lines. Um, how do you fancy yourself as a wizard's assistant? <laughs> I don't. I'm, I don't know if I'm smart enough for that. I think you've got the gumption. You know, I. I, I think. Uh, I think Hayfried will like the cut of your jib. I mean, honestly, I'm out of work right now. I would take anything. Well, uh, you seem eager, and you seem capable. So let's uh, see what we can work out. I'm willing to learn. I mean, I, I'm, I'm all for it. <laughs> right. We'll uh, try to avoid cursed islands. Please. No <laughs> Please. <laughs> all right. No cursed island. <laughs> so, uh, I'll just walk up to Faraday. Um, well, I guess we're all kind of wanted. Um, what are you going to do? Am I still 13 feet tall? <laughs> <laughs> you are, uh, just at this point shrinking back down to normal size. Okay, so yeah. I'm going to take in shrinking back to my normal size. Like, well, that was a fun adventure. Um, yes, so... Well, I guess I will be moving on from Oakenspire a lot sooner than expected. Um, actually, it is a very lovely season for fishing. Well, uh, I don't know how much you have, then. I have 40 gold here, and I'm going to give all of it to you, Ferdy. For a job I've done there. Yeah. I mean, okay, uh, couldn't have done it without it. You're right. A compliment from you. I think I enjoy that a lot more. <laughs> a mere statement of fact. Don't get carried away. <laughs> and I clap him on the back. And I almost fall over. Well, I don't know how fishing is out here, but I'm sure you'll catch something. I wish I just had the fishing poles to give you. Because <laughs> we aren't using them right now. Not yet, no. Um, well, I guess we'll tell Hatefreed that you did a good job. Appreciate that, and also let that old man know that I have some questions for him when I come back around. I did say I was going to bring him some fish, so I have some questions. Yeah, I have some questions as well. <laughs> I'll uh, reach for my book and forget it's not there. <laughs> How do you figure you're gonna sell fish and then open a tavern with that money? 
What's the plan? Tavern is a long-term goal. The travel is the important thing. Getting the stories, getting the experiences. It's a longer story than just a simple tavern, Kelleg. But that I've gathered. Um, for what it's worth, come on from me. I think if peace is your goal, you're not going to find it at the bottom of a coin purse. So, just, you know, keep your eyes open to what's around you and to the people in front of you. I look at Flynn and Trya and Timmy. (laughs) (laughs) If I've learned anything thus far, it's that they're the closest thing to peace that I've ever found. You've got a good group. It's been a while since I've spent time really with anyone else since well, a while. I, I think we met some of your old friends. And if those are your friends, well, hate to see your enemies. Hmm. Another story for another time. Yes. Only we had all the time for all the stories. Eh? Aye. Well, uh, I think this is a crossroads here if you want to go toward the water. or going inward. So then I will turn to Xavier and say, you know, that little girl looks so much up to you. She has a lot to learn, and I really hope that she finds the answers with you. And he nods his head, and he says, I'm sure she will. And I tap him on the shoulder with, like, a nod. And... Weave over to Shrine, everyone, and do a very fanciful bow, and <laughs> hike up my bag, and look up, and enjoy clean air outside of Oak and Spire, and start heading towards the Gulf of Akan Bandar. All right. So, as Faraday walks off towards the Gulf, and the rest of you meet up, right back at the little shack that houses Hayfried's teleportation circle. That is where we're going to end today's Aww. session. We're going to call it right there. Oh, oh, Where'd yeah. Faraday go? <laughs> <laughs> we did it. You guys did oh, it. Oh my all right. God. But that is where we're going to call it. Thank you all so much for listening and we can't wait to see you all again next week. Ah. Bye nerds. Bye nerds. Bye, Bye nerds. nerds. Hey Russ, if people like the podcast, what should they do? Oh, uh, well, that's a great question, uh, Ethan. Uh, actually, you can subscribe, like, follow, and share it to others. That's 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 amazing. Um, and I'm forgetting off the top of my head, does VentureForth have a YouTube channel? Actually, you know what? We do. Yeah, where you can find wow. uh, recaps of the episodes, you can find music from the podcast, and favorite moments from each episode. And now, I heard through the grapevine that VentureForth is VentureForth D&D across all all social media platforms? Is that correct? Every single one. And Incredible. We have, and we have some cool stuff coming out for TikTok, too. So TikTok? Tell me more about that. Yeah, keep an eye out for it. So we're going to have a lot of our clips on on TikTok <laughs> and also some other cool little moments with uh, with us as well, with the cast. Now, if you are, let's just say you are like top tier fan, like you love Ventureforth and you want to support us in a different way, like... Is there a website called Patreon that they could go to? That... Actually, Ethan, you did uh, hit that right on the head with the tier, actually. Oh, we oh do have, okay. We do have a Patreon with multiple tiers. Incredible. As little as a dollar a month. And you can come in and subscribe and get a lot of cool bonus content. Ventureforth has really thought of everything, haven't they? We definitely have. Oh, my gosh. Well, thank you, everyone, for listening. <laughs> See you guys again next <laughs> See you guys in the next one. We love you. 